welcome to hell. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to the rooftops. Sorry. Welcome to the starlight room. Sorry, sorry, I'll read that again. Welcome to the underworld. Sorry. Welcome to Taste Like Music. Uh, Joe here, going solo today because uh, I've fired the other members of Taste Like Music. Um, just, just me from here on out. Uh, it's weird. I, I just had this great idea. Fire all the members. I'm going to just take all the videos we've done. Probably just cut out all of Jason and Cram's contributions. You know, re redux them with just me talking uh, over all of our old videos. I think it's a great idea um, because it'll just be me, the only person on earth who matters. Sorry, that's that's just the Roger Waters in me talking. <clears throat> I've just listened to the Dark Side of the Moon Redux, uh, which is Roger Waters' re-recording of the Dark Side of the Moon, the classic Pink Floyd album. One of, if not the most famous album in, in modern music history. It's the best-selling album of the 1970s, third biggest of all time, selling over 45 million copies. It's charted on the Billboard 200 for 981 weeks. Uh, for comparison, I've been alive for about 2,000 weeks, about 20 years. No big deal. So what does Roger Waters do? He decides to redo the album. Just him. Just him talking. Just him with a bunch of his, his friends remaking all the parts, stripping out the things that you know weren't, weren't interesting, the bad stuff, the guitar solos, the sax solos, the, you know, the, the, backing vocalists it's just pretty much the roger waters show and he's decided to do this because he's a crazy person wants to continue the legend uh, he wants to further dark side of the moon he, he wants to come back and inject some of his old-timey wisdom into one of the greatest albums of all time well how does it sound it sounds great it sounds like the muzak version of dark side of the moon it's like if you were listening to Dark Side of the Moon and Macy's, kind of soft rock, you know, just boring instrumentation. Strip out all that fancy stuff. Strip out those weird time signatures. Let's let's get it back to the roots. Every once in a while, somebody pops on the loudspeaker. Attention shoppers, today only 20% off waffle makers. You can check out our whole selection on level two next to menswear. Have a nice day. Or attention, Shears shoppers, will Maria Bartleby please report to guest services? Maria Bartleby, report to guest services. Your child is looking for you. Um, that that's kind of what you you get when you listen to this album. Uh, it sounds great if you like sterile and uninteresting music. You get hints of the hints of the real thing. You get some little guitar leads that take you back. Some of the lyrics in there, uh, Roger decided to, you know, add to it, though. He did, he, you know, the original, not good enough. He's going to throw on some of his extra learned wisdom in there. Uh, most of it's spoken, some crooning going on. Uh, I don't think Roger can really sing anymore, so not really like he had a choice. He can't just re-record the vocals. The new lyrics, they're, they're not interesting. Um, the level of insight that Roger's bringing here just makes him sound like an idiot for the most part. There's nothing new that would enhance the experience. And it's it's kind of sad. Uh, it's sad that Roger would compromise his legacy for something nobody wants or thinks is a good idea. Nobody asked for this. The, the redux of money is just as bad as when we did the first lesson here on the channel. It's completely pointless. It's ruined by his excess talking. There's nothing added to it that would make me want to listen to it. And here's the thing. Um, you know, he's now so unbelievably pretentious and up his own ass that nothing he adds just holds any weight. Um, you know, the quiet profundity of the original is gone away. And nothing he says on this album has the emotional intelligence, the deep insight of the words he wrote 50 years ago as a young man. Uh, you know, Pink Floyd 
you know, Roger Waters may have turned into a total jackass, but the lyrics on this album are fantastic. Um, you know, they're sharp and satirical, clever in money. Uh, something like time is amazing. Um, you know, you, you look at lyrics like tired of lying in the sunshine, saying come to watch the rain and you are young and life is long. And there's time to kill today. And then one day you find 10 years have got behind you. No one told you when to run. You miss the starting gun. I mean, these are some really powerful, deep lyrics that Rogers is, you know, thrown out here on the original. Everything he adds, you know, the welcome to hell parts. I'm sorry, I'll read that again. Welcome to Bruce Hutton. None of it has any meaning. You know, he goes into, the, and now for tonight's main event, the heavyweight close swaddled in the cloying folds of fat. For heavyweight squats freak fearful on his stool and through toad lids, he squints his vision of the world. Is he talking about himself? You know, he, he's saying all these big words, uh, cut for speed, snakes out. In that split second, pluck, suck, dissolved, produced petty bulk, digested shit. But in the shadow of the ring with cloven hoof and crooked grin, the devil pats the briefcase that holds the Faustian pact, enjoys his little joke because he knows the champion's cloak is but a shroud in fact. I mean, that's, that's not the worst rhyme I've heard in, in the world. But does it need to be the third and fourth verse of money? No, of course not. Does it add anything to the song? Of course not. If you wanted to come out with a little book of poetry, redo the album, but not call it Dark Side of the Moon Redux. Just call it Roger Waters' old guy thoughts. Roger Waters bloviates for 45 minutes about things that he no longer understands. You know, that's kind of what you get with this whole album. And I, and I love doing album reviews like this because you can really just compare the songs and say, well, which one's better? Is it this version or this version? Uh, let's 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 see here. Let's go through the song list. Uh, it starts off with Speak to Me, uh, music by Nick Mason. So it's an instrumental. It's, it's really nice. It's, um, you know, sets the tone for the whole album, the way it kind of bursts uh apart and, and goes into breathe in the air um which was written by waters right and, and gilmore uh lead vocals gilmore not even roger waters uh he wrote the lyrics sure but gilmore does the singing the new one breathe in the air redux uh sucks ass uh on the run gilmore waters uh, it's another instrumental it's kind of trippy and psychedelic and weird uh it's it's better on the original uh, no surprise there. Time, masterpiece, uh, lyrically deep, uh, poignant, and the new one sucks. Uh, the Great King in the Sky, uh, the vocals by Claire Torrey, uh, legendary. She's not on the new one, and uh, it's not any good. No surprise there. Let's go side two, money. We've talked about money. Uh, really cool um, you know, time signature, 5-4 time. A great bass line, all that's gone. Just get get that the hell out of here. We're gonna just do it in Muzak with a little extra verse in there. Us and them, one of the great songs of all time. I, I let's see hmm. which is better. I'm gonna go with the original, one of the greatest songs of all time. Not the the Redux where uh, Roger decides to throw in a couple extra lines on the chorus that make no sense and have no relation to the original masterpiece. Uh, Any Color You Like, another instrumental, Gilmore Mason Wright. Uh, Waters didn't even have anything to do with that one. Played bass on it, sure. Uh, gotta put his own spin on that guy. I'm gonna go with the original on that. Uh, Brain Damage in Eclipse. The music and lead vocals by Waters. I think it's a phenomenal way to end the album. Classic. I uh, love the the organ from Richard Wright on here. That's gone now. Let's just strip that out. We don't need that. We're just going to go with Roger Waters making a fool out of himself for six minutes or so. And uh, that's kind of what you get with this whole album. Roger Waters taking out the good parts of the dark side of the moon and inserting his own incoherent ramblings. And uh, it's tough, but I think really comes down to it i'm i'm gonna go with the original version uh the dark side of the moon from 1973 
uh, featuring David Gilmore on guitars, Nick Mason on drums, Roger Waters on bass and vocals, Richard Wright on organ, piano, uh, synthesizers. I think it just has that little extra that the new one doesn't have, uh, which is unsurprising. In all, I think I would go one star for the new uh, The Dark Side of the Moon Redux, the Roger Waters uh, megalomaniac version subtitle you that's not included on the on the album but it's it's in parentheses and uh that's it there's there's not a whole lot more to say out about this one i think it was a bad idea and i think roger waters probably just not uh not a good good guy anymore if he if he ever was maybe back in the late 60s early 70s before his ego just completely got out of control so there you have it, uh, Dark Side of the Moon Redux by Roger Waters. It's a one-star effort, taking apart a five-star masterpiece, one of the greatest albums of all time, and turning into a big load of crap. So congratulations to Roger for that one. And that's it for me. Uh, Crams or Jason, they were not fired. They'll be, they'll be back um, someday for Rolling Stones week coming up soon. Uh, so let me know what you think of the Dark Side of the Moon Redux, Roger Waters' ego maniacal version. Uh, leave your comments in the comments section. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, check us out on social media, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time here on Taste Like Music Redux Joe version. See ya.